Most moths, however, feed by the rather more laborious method of flying from flower to flower. A few, the busiest, do so not only at night, but during the day as well. These are the hawk moths, and there are several species of them gathering nectar from this buddleia bush in the south of France. This hawk moth can fly very fast indeed when it wants to, but it can also hover, as it's doing now, to sip nectar from each one of these small flowers. Beating its wings as fast as this, of course, takes a great deal of energy. So these hawk moths have to spend much of their day going from flower to flower, sipping the nectar, which is so rich in the carbohydrates they need to power their flight. They have huge forward-pointing eyes that enable them to aim their proboscis with such accuracy that it slips into the exact centre of each tiny flower. With so many minute flowers so closely bunched together, it would be easy for the moth to visit some twice. But that would waste energy, and if we mark each flower as the moth drinks from it, it's clear that the moth somehow or other never does this. Hummingbird hawk moths have no difficulty in hovering. Bee hawks, however, have heavier bodies, and they sometimes use their legs to help support themselves as they work. Their need to keep drinking is so pressing that a female will continue to do that, even when the male with whom she's mating seems to be trying to fly in the opposite direction. The Buntlia plant may be a particular favourite of hawk moths, but it is, of course, a foreigner introduced into our gardens from China in the 19th century. 